Hey all, this is Jenna. Welcome to video two in our planning day series. In the first one, we set up our preferences, we created a folder, and we made a backup marker for all of our folders. And in this one, we're going to make our cover page and page one. I'm setting this up as if we're printing a standalone bound book at the end of the year or after a project is finished. If you print loose pages, you may or may not need a cover page or page one but go ahead and set them up and you can customize or delete them later. So let's begin with the full 12 by 12 photo and we're gonna add a picture to it. So remember when I was mentioning this in the uh, past few days in the group, uh, I said, okay, pick a photo you wanna use. This is why you're gonna look at this photo all year long, so you make it one you like. <laughs> and so add your photo and we're going to add a title here, I'm just gonna type out the year, you title your album, whatever it is. I'm gonna use the in-app Cara font for my titles for this album example, or this folder example. And then I'm going to, I'm going to give myself a nice little note as to why I even made this page. In six months, I'll tell you, I might not remember. So this little note right here is gonna help me remember. Add a photo at end of year. And I'm gonna enlarge that by just pulling on that dot in the corner. Um, I'm gonna center justify it just because I like the way that looks. Don't have to do that. And I'm going to close out the journaling options and add it to my 2021 folder. I'm also going to update the page information and I'm gonna name it 00 cover and I'm going to change the date also to January 1st same as I did on the backup marker I believe okay so let's apply those changes if if you print books or have pages that go up into the hundreds you might want to name this 000 if you like that consistent look again I'm trying to be super consistent and super organized across this whole folder so if in the past your albums have been more than 100 pages, add three zeros to that. That is just my super organized brain's way of thinking. If you don't care, it doesn't matter, right? Okay, I'm going to close that out, and now we're going to make page one. So I'm just going to do a standard collage page, and I'm going to have it be design A. I rarely use design A, but I love it for um, cover pages and photo pages, or intro pages, I guess is what I would call this, an intro page. I am going to start in this pocket and add a photo. So again, I'm gonna add that same photo. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an overlay I like to this. I may or may not use it later, but this whole thing is gonna be trashed so it doesn't matter, or replaced so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the overlay from the Project 12 2019 May overlays. It is a three by four size only. So later on, if you wanna have this overlay be on the larger pockets, what you need to do is add your photo, add the overlay, press and hold and drag it to that pocket or press and hold and throw it away in the trash can. So I'm gonna put it back right in there, adjust the photo. And now later on, again, if I add photos to other pockets, I can access the overlay kit easier. Maybe it's easier, maybe it's not. I like to do that. Okay, now we're gonna add a white journal card from the Neutrals Kit. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna add the white card to this pocket and I'm also gonna add it to this pocket. So I know iOS users can go in and out of the pockets to the cards and the photos easily. Android users, I'm not sure if you can, can go in and out without it totally closing the card kit or your photo album. But iOS users, that's a tip. You can tap on a pocket, tap on a card, tap on a pocket, tap on a photo, go back and forth within the card kit or the album. Okay, now the reason why I suggested making your freeform text default and your native journaling default the same is because we're gonna add some journaling to this card that will give us all the options we need later on down the road. So I'm going to see if I can just paste in this sentence from my notes app. Yes, it's still there, good. And then I'm going to come down here 
and add a freeform text box. And all I'm gonna do is just type freeform text in that. I'm not gonna add a whole bunch to that. I can delete this and use this one later, or I can delete this and use this one later. If I decide to use outside card kits to journal on, or if I wanna journal on my photos, now I can um, have both of these at my fingertips for whatever I decide later on. So that is set and ready to go. And over here in this pocket, we're again, again <laughs> gonna give ourselves a reminder as to why we made this. We're going to add photos <laughs> at end of year, okay? And I'm gonna again center justify that just because that's what I like and I'm going to enlarge it with the slider here um, as big as possible. There we go. So now this is page one and we are ready to go when at the end of the year we've chosen our favorite photos and we want to add them to it. Um, let's also actually, before we end this one, if you want to change your background color, this is how you tap on the layout picker at the top of the page and you tap on the three lines to change your palette. It does not default to what you're using. You have to choose your color palette. Mine is set to the Project 52 2016 edition. And I'm gonna go ahead and change it to this light gray. It makes the white cards kind of pop off the page and stand out, but the white is classic also. It looks so good also. Um, but if you don't like to change or add color to your background, just leave it white. Um, or change it to a bright, vibrant color, whatever you want. It's easily customizable, right? Easily customizable. Um, let's name this one and add it to our folder. So let's update the page information. I'm gonna name it 01. I'm gonna change the date to January 1st again, because this will eventually go at the beginning of my album. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the beginning of the year. Uh, okay, let's add it to our folder. 2021 and then let's navigate to our folder and I'll show you what it looks like so far pages folders 2021 so now we have our backup marker oh, I thought I changed the date of that let me do that now update page info maybe I didn't we didn't do this on that video did we I'm gonna go ahead and name it backup marker and change the date I thought I did that all right, apply, there we go. Backup marker, cover photo, page one. In the next video, we will cover adding an editorial template, the full journaling, one of the full journaling ones to this. And we will also add a um, no drop shadow template to this album. Then in the fourth video, we will set up our first month or our first week of the year and go from there. All right, see you soon.